Capricorn friends, welcome to your heart spread for the first half of October, say the 1st through the 15th. Um, this eight card read, this reads the one that's uh, on your mind, what's in your heart, if you haven't seen it before, ends up in the shape of a heart. And um, I do astrology too, so I kind of think of it as a partially synastry and partially the composite. The last two cards are advice for the entire relationship as a whole and outcome of the relationship as a whole, uh, if there is one. And we'll get to that as we go along. Because right now, all it's picking up on who's the, the one that's on in your heart. It necessarily have to be the one you're with. And it's pretty simple. So here's your energy coming into the reading. And I try to see this as a baseline, this Knight of Cups, kind of where you're at uh, in and amongst yourself here, a little bit separate from whatever's going on with this person. Um, and you're in the mood for love. I mean, this is facing into the reading. Um, kind of shows me you could have been on a dating site. You were so you're not someone that was sitting around saying, "If this is your reading, uh, I'm never going to get married again. I don't have any interest in the opposite sex. I just want to have my dogs and cats and be um, quiet." Um, you're someone that's actively uh, seeking love, wanting to give your couple love here. And it's a very emotional energy too, Capricorn. Now your person's got the two of pentacles. That's very interesting. This is their energy in the round relationships, kind of where they are, baseline. This person does not strike me as someone that would be looking for love. Um, not that they're not open to it, but with the Two of Pentacles, there is a part of it where they could be juggling. I don't really see that here because uh, this is just their energy before you even show up. So it could mean they were already juggling two people before you showed up and you're like the uh, third party. Um, but really what I see that is, is this person, uh, this is doing their life, doing being busy and doing what you have to do to keep your life balanced. It's, it's a little bit busy energy. It's like this typically, this is not someone that doesn't have a job and just lives at their parents' house and does nothing all the time. This is someone that has a busy uh, life, you know. They could have children, they could have a big job, they're taking care, doing their yoga, doing their exercise, having relationships. And I see it's someone having a kind of good, balanced life, but that, that comes with a lot of effort, conscious effort, like in work. And let's see, Two of Cups. Wow. And this is your energy as it relates to them now, how you're feeling about them. And Two of Cups to me is not a choice here. Um, this is like, you're thinking like, this is the one I want to give my cup to. Uh... Wow, um, and that's a lot of water uh, for Capricorn. So um, sometimes it's hard to detach your card from how you feel about them. Uh, the energy is so strong. I got to feel that could be the case here. Uh, it, so that would be as if, like, the reason why you're in this Knight of Cups energy uh, is because, like, uh, love at first sight, a quick uh, feeling that you guys are meant to be. Uh, moon on the AC in your sinistry, uh, moon on Pluto, this kind of energy. Very uh, magnetic uh, energy. I think that's maybe what's going on here with the Knight of Cups. So it's almost like the feelings for this person are so strong that uh, all of the energy from the past relationships, it just sort of pours into this person. I don't mean that in a bad way. Um, um, I mean, like, you're not taking any baggage and throwing it into them. You're just really throwing your heart into them because you, you're just uh, seriously into them. And this, they're kind of just sitting there doing their own thing. I mean, this would be like you ran into each other at the grocery store. You really ran into each other in a little traffic accident or you uh, something, you know, um, like that. And you would just immediately, when you saw them, like, were like, oh, I want that. You know, man, I'm going, wow. <laughs> And the Knight of Pentacles is looking right at you. So the Knight of Pentacles is looking at the Two of Cups. And remember, this is the Two of Pentacles person. Okay, your person here is an earth sign, um, fellow earth sign. Um, they could be Virgo. Two of Pentacles applies that work to me, but definitely an earth sign. And they're also someone that's mature and steady. But this Knight of Pentacles is looking right at you. They want you. 
don't be thrown if this energy is not as strong as probably what you're feeling. Like, because um, with the Knight of Pentacles energy and the Two of Pentacles, uh, apparently you're an earth sign. You know, not all Capricorns are, are, are not emotional. That's crazy. You know, so a lot of Capricorns bang a lot of Pisces energy. Just in personal plants uh, can be. So um, don't be put off by the fact that they're maybe not bringing it back like quite as hard as you are. Like maybe you say I love you first or something like that because they're interested, but it's just not their way to move fast, this person, you know. Uh, but they're, the fact that they're on you, um, my feeling too, they wouldn't be looking at you like this with Knight of Pentacles energy if you weren't like, for them, that's like, oh my God, I'm so in love, you're my soulmate, but they're not going to say it that way. You might, it's, this is not gushing energy, but it's, it's there. I mean, they're into you and the King of Wands, and this is your advice from spirit. So I was going to say, that I, I wonder if it's consummated yet, the relationship, or if it's at a distance, um, there's something like that. So you guys kind of looking at each other, checking each other out. Um, this is advice from spirit to take action. Mm -hmm. uh, Mars energy, wands, action. And, you know, that's very direct action. And that could be sexual. Um, that could be just flirting, asking them out. If you haven't already. It's telling you to get engaged and, and take action and do something, date, uh, explore this person. This is your advice or spirit towards this person, you know? If you needed a green light to get it on, you got it, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Always good to do what you want, right? Seven of Cups, this is the advice to, this, uh, to your person here. I think that what this is, this is advice for if you're cross-watching to you uh, for your Capricorn uh, or Capricorn, this is the advice from spirit towards you. And I think it's speaking to them possibly being a little mostly overwhelmed, a little uh, concerned. And it's like, because I think you're so emotional and it's like, uh, so spirit is advising them, um, don't like be afraid of your own emotions here. Because I think with someone like this, it's like, um, it's, I got a cancer moon, it's, it's crazy emotional. And it's been hard for me to learn that not everyone wants to feel like this all the time. And now that I'm a little older, I can see why it's hard. And it's like, so, it's like, I think they kind of don't understand something. Um, and it's emotional though, so this is something they probably wouldn't talk to you about. It would just be like a feeling with them. And I get the feeling that with this Knight of Wands being your advice from spirit, it's like, you know, I think that when you guys get together and make love and, and bond physically, um, that's going to help clear up this Seven of Cups, you know, energy for them. Um, they're an earth sign, the sex is grounding, they need grounding. Uh, honestly, uh, I would think that they may, you may be the one that wants the sex anyway. Uh, you know, more than them or sooner, uh, and maybe they're the one, man or woman, maybe they're the ones kind of, you know, holding that back uh, somehow. But I think that they will benefit uh, from it, and it'll help get rid of this. The butterflies, it's kind of like coming under the Knight of Pentacles, they got like butterflies, you know? That's what that is. A person might not have a lot of experience in sex. It's not tarot, it's just my feeling. Um, I think that uh, they're a really good person. Um, they just have not, you know, had a lot of sex with different people. You know, they're somewhat limited. I'm not saying they're a virgin, okay? But now the hanged man. So we get the hanged man. <laughs> Another delay. It's in the same position as the last reading. It's the only card that's the same. Huh. Um, yeah, definitely you could be talking about the energies here. Uh, Soul Family Read, do check it out if you would. It's uh, in the uh, on my channel, but it's up for the weekend because on Fridays I put out the weekend Soul Family Read. Just a collective read for whoever resonates. Talk a little more about spirituality and you know manifestation, and less about uh, directly about romance. Uh, but kind of the hangman energy was figuring there too, um, not the card, just the energy of it. So this is um. I think you guys need some time to gel. And I don't think uh, 
and it's also about looking at it from a different perspective. And I think it's more for, maybe for both of you, because you may not kind of realize how uh, uh, this person's not real uh, emotionally intelligent. I'm not saying they're close or anything, um, but you're a lot more fluid in the language of emotion and the reality of emotion than your person. And so you could take that into account as you deal with them. And you know, Asperger's comes to mind. They might be a little bit aspy too. That's not tarot, um, your person. Um, even, you know, just a little bit, I'm a little bit, you know, um, so, you know, that could be, so the problem with that is like, there's so many things emotionally, there's, it's, you're going to get like, it's such a deep level that you wouldn't even imagine that they don't get it. And cause also they're probably pretty smart. So you're like, how could they not get it? But it's going to be these social cues. It's not stuff written. If it's written down in a book, they have got it, you know? It's all the stuff that's not written down on a book. Um, and so I really think you guys just need to interact, you know. And with this hangman, it's like a, probably a new relationship. I don't think you're going to get married next week. There's going to be some... Um, and I don't think it's probably going to be every night, too, I get the feeling. Like, that's what it is. You need some time. Um, this person wants you, but they don't want to move fast, you know. Um, and you definitely want to move fast. So I think for you to be happy with this relationship and the time it's going to take, you know, you're going to basically want to tell them, like, I know maybe we can only get together once a week, you know, but, you know, I want to make love when we get together, uh, you know, uh, and I want to see as much as I can. And, you know, you may be in the position with this, it's just kind of having to take the lead a little bit and, you know, kiss them even if they don't kiss you and be playful say hey you know I'm kissing you hello and because it's just like I get the feeling like they maybe just don't really know how to act in a relationship too um, and, and it's not it's nothing against you it's like they really just this is kind of the feeling feeling wise they just sort of get confused and so you know we could be like direct with them Knight of Wands very direct not just about sex, you know, it could be like, you know, I need you to uh, emote uh, <laughs> or whatever it is. And I get the feel with Nine of Pentacles looking right at you. They'd probably be eager uh, to play along if they just kind of knew like what the rules were, what they were supposed to do. It sure does feel like a man over here, Sag. <laughs> I mean, Caps, <laughs> it feels like a man <clears throat> to me. I should not supposed to say that. And the outcome is a nine of pentacles. I think I'm telling you, you're going to end up with a girlfriend, boyfriend relationship. And, and nothing wrong with that, assuming that's what you want. Um, in fact, it might be exactly what you want. You got Sagittarius Venus. Um, but so you got the hangman being advice for relationship as a whole. And then you've got the nine of pentacles uh, being your outcome. So you're both going to be happy with it, though. You're both going to be like happy bachelors, uh, self-contained. Uh, that may be important to them too. You know, they sort of don't want to lose themselves in a relationship. And maybe you want a relationship, but you don't want to move in with someone or get married or, you know, maybe you don't want them spending the night here like, hey, you know, it's two o'clock, you need to shit, get out, you know. I, it's all fair or whatever you want to decide. But that's the kind of relationship you end up with, uh, you know, where you're two solid people having your lives and you have your homes and you're, you're a boyfriend and girlfriend, and uh, think committed. Um, you know, this person over here says they ain't gonna run around and look for other people. I think they're pretty busy with their work too, this person. And they're a little, I mean, it could even be like OCD going on. This person's very involved in their life, you know? So they're not the kind of person anyway that's gonna be running around, you know, dating people and spending a lot of time doing that. It's just not, I don't think it's in them. You know, so I see you guys having this kind of relationship. Let me know uh, if that resonates. Um, it's a little bit different heart spread, but I like it. it's real life. Um, you know, and, and there's, there's nothing wrong. It could be perfect. You know, maybe maybe they're Aqua Venus and you're Sag Venus, and this is a match made in heaven for both of you. All right, thank you guys. Let me know what you think.